Okay, here we have a brand new Micro 810. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. And you can see this model here is a 2080 LC1012 AWA Series A. And we can see the factory seal is sealed. Now I wouldn't break this seal unless you're absolutely sure you want to keep the unit. Um, if you just bought it and you're having second thoughts, if it's something your distributor stocks, he may take it back if the seal's not broken. But once the seal's broken, it cannot go back on his shelf. It'll have to go all the way back to the factory. Sometimes they won't take it back. Sometimes they'll charge a restocking fee. So again, don't break the factory seal unless you're sure you want to keep the unit. All right, with that said, we're going to go ahead and break ours. Go ahead and cut it open here. And let's, uh, let's open it up. And inside we get installation instructions. Now, these are typically very important, have a lot of good information about actually installing the unit. So you want to hold on to these. And we'll talk about these more uh, at a later time. But we'll put those one side for now. We'll take the unit out here and take a look at it. Let's go ahead and zoom in. We can see the bottom terminal block. We can see the top terminal block. Let's go ahead and take this cover off. Oh, we have a connector there and we have another cover here. Take a look in there. Um, go ahead and take a look at the label. And then take a look at the back of the unit. Then rail mountable. Nothing on the side, top where you put the wires in as well as the bottom. And that's what you get when you purchase a Micro 810. Now as we saw, there's no way to program this without either a display or a USB port. So on our next episode, we'll take a look at those two options.